I am Sima Zhao, Grand Commander of the Wei Armies. You are Liu Chen, Emperor of Shu, right? Tell me, have you decided? Yes. Let us end this now. As long as this fighting continues, then so will the grief. Master Sima Zhao, I do have a request to make. And that is? Will you carry on our dream as well? We always dreamed of a wise rule and of a new world that is completely without any sadness or chaos. I cannot make that promise. <laughs> but I'll try to make it come true in this new age that I'm creating. I thank you. That is sufficient. I will surrender the shoe. I accept your surrender. Chaos shall end. Jiang Wei fought bravely and helped repel the Wei invasion. However, the Shu Emperor, Liu Chen, still agreed to surrender, bringing an end to the kingdom of Shu. Jiang Wei resisted to the end, but was eventually captured. While imprisoned in a dark and narrow room, he recalled a certain memory. He remembered the thoughts and hopes of those that came before him, as well as the many battles he had fought. There was still a fire within the prodigy's eyes that refused to be extinguished. Lord Liu Bei died before realizing his dream of a better world. Then the Prime Minister inherited that dream and gave his life to guide Shu. And now, Master Liu Shan. Jiang Wei, I know that Shu is thinking. There is just so little that I am able to do. Lord Liu Shan, I ask, you must not say such things. I am right here at your side. <laughs> that is truly reassuring. Still, don't go overboard. Hmm. Lord Liu Shan, did not want to continue fighting anymore. That is why he chose to surrender. 
But if I were to give up on everything here, would anything else remain? I wonder where is the light of hope? Times are changing. We must gain an advantage before the memory of the benevolent <gasps> world. Lord Leo Bey dreamt of fades away. I cannot allow myself to waver. No matter what happens, I must be strong. If I do, then, there's a chance. <laughs> 